Yo, what's up, guys? So, I'm here just to, uh, well, not quick, but kind of semi long tutorial on OSU optimizations you should do if you like, you know, you're trying to get good frame rates and stuff. Well, so, right now I'm not because I'm using OBS, but usually this will be like 600. So, stuff you're gonna definitely want to do first off is download OSU, of course. But another thing you're gonna want to do is so before this right here, you're gonna want to make sure you have this checked. I wouldn't recommend using compatibility mode unless you need it, because that can make your MS and frame rate drop, well, increase your MS. Um, reduce drop frame rate if you have stuttering issues, otherwise don't bother with that. Um, full screen if you can, I have issues with that, because when I use it, my MS gets capped and stuff, and stuff screws me over. These, disable everything right here, nothing should be enabled, that will make your game worse. Okay, just a quick tip, if you want to play better, usually this will work for people, turn this to max. Okay, skipping past all of this, make sure you have this set up correctly, make sure you have this set up to the correct output device that you have. So, I have um, Razer Surround Sound and Realtek, I find Razer Surround to be delayed, so I use the Real Realtek one. Okay, Master is, I have maybe right now, but one thing I recommend is having music at 15 effect at 100, so you can basically hear when you're clicking a lot better. Um, universal offset will vary between everyone. I just choose not to mess with it because last time I died, I messed up really bad. Okay, another thing, make sure you have a, a good skin that you can use. Personally, I like this one because I find it to be just comfortable to use. If you guys want, just comment in the description. I'll leave a link for this skin and I'll do some gameplay. Cursor size, I like to drop that down low because I like to ignore the cursor. Sensitivity, this varies between everyone as well. Everyone has different sensitivity depending on if they're using mouse tablet. Right now I'm using mouse for the tutorial, but I play with tablet. Um, raw input, you definitely want that on, because it will get rid of Windows acceleration, which will make your input more accurate. Like, look at the MS right now. I don't know if this will change anything, but if you get rid of it, it should go up a lot, or, or not. Oh well, well still put this on you want that okay what else you also this can vary I've been told not to use this but I use it so that can you can decide that on your own another thing if you use tablet definitely have the OS tablet support that is something you will want to have um, what else well that's really all you want to do in the OSU thing you could also do repair folder permissions that might help in some instances but I'm not sure how many okay moving on from OSU I have other things you're gonna wanna do um, one thing you're gonna want is um, Razer Cortex that can be installed from the Razer website so this is it basically there's a game booster thing you click this and it will release RAM as you can see which will basically let you you run stuff faster Okay, another thing you can do is actually I'm gonna three open OSU for this now. Up oh, there, you see it's doing its magic right there. You know it didn't say anything; it did. Well, basically, um, yeah, OBS is on. If you do Control Delete and um, Task Manager, wait for that to pop. There we go. You go to Details, you just click O. You find OSU. You right click on that and you do set priority. And the higher the priority is, the better your game will run. So if I do low, and then I go back to OSU, it's it's just not going to be as fast. And then if we do high priority, there's a significant change when you're in game, because you can see that's already definitely higher than it was before. It's at four before it was at like six seven. So that's something you want to do there. Well, that won't automatically do it. That's something you always have to do on your own. So that, you know, you got you got the good frames. Okay, other things you can do is um if you use Nvidia, let me wait for this to load. So with Nvidia control panel, um you just want to go to program. Global does not matter because you're only changing OSU settings. This is if you have Nvidia, you can skip ahead a little bit. But I'm not going to be doing um, AMD or anything like that. So you could add um, a program, and once clicking that, um, there should be a little box over here. But you know, my thing's not running too good right now either. OSU, you could add OSU. 
And basically what you're going to do is um, copy down these settings. I'll go through slowly so you can get them. Because these are the best settings for the least amount of delay. Shader cache shake can vary between people. If you have an SSD on OSU, it should not matter. Um, my OSU, I don't think, is on SSD, so I enable it. That will just help keep your thing from reloading stuff. Okay, those are the NVIDIA settings. I'll go through them one more time a little quicker if you didn't get them all. Okay, so that's what you want to do with NVIDIA. Um, image adjustment with preview. People say to use this one. I've used that, but I think it would, I don't know, I think it would probably be better to use this and put it on performance. God damn it, I'm ruining the video now. Well, that's just an idea I have, but I would say use this one because people say this is better, but you can try out this one. I haven't done any testing myself. I did some small testing, but not anything in depth. Okay, so no, don't change anything. Okay, if you use Intel, which I also have, stuff you can do is um, power. This might be set to uh, power saver whatever it is, balance mode, set that to maximum performance, power saving technology, disable, make sure you have this on both. If you're using a desktop, you'll probably only have, I don't know, this is for laptop, I guess. But it should be about the same. Display, make sure you're using your good resolution, refresh rate, make sure you have the highest possible one for your monitor. I have uh, an overclocked monitor right now, I will probably I'm not going to show you guys how to do that in this video but I will probably do a second video on stuff you can do so basically that's all you really want to do for the Intel one okay next another thing you can do well I'm not on the internet oh well so this if you have a high performance plan click that but well, another thing you do is if you change plan settings do it advanced power settings this should pop up right here so this basically what you want to do is so I already have high performance on you're gonna want that and most of this doesn't make much of a difference but if you go to Internet Explorer this makes one right there high performance for that um, USB settings this could delay a tablet I think suspend less selective suspended settings yeah disable this I don't know why I have it enabled so disable those graphics settings right here you want these on max performance this is something that you want to change definitely right here mine automatically originally sets to the lower one you want your set to the highest possible one because you know when you're gaming wattage doesn't really matter your electricity bill can suffer um this doesn't make a difference PCI Express that makes a big difference turn this off because that will destroy you everything minimum processor state everything has to be at a hundred that way your things always running as high as possible increase fancy for slow processor yeah okay so that's how much that's what you want for that um what else I think it was in control panel yeah control panel power options maybe no it's not that god damn it it's um, control panel right here. If I could find this fast, that would be wonderful. Um, appearance and personalization. Um, no, here, don't, don't click anything yet. Um, you know, here, um, ease effects, no. I am sorry, guys, but I am not doing good right now. Actually, no, I remember where it is, I remember. Um, display settings um where is this thing um shit i am so stupid right now um hmm i'm gonna pause the video till i find out what the hell okay I'm guys i found out what you're supposed to do so here you type in performance oh i typed performance wrong just type in shit why can i not spell today um where did it go? 
there we go, pr I typed in pro, there you go, so you type in pr, you type in pr, you know, that's all you have to type in, and you click that, and once that loads up, so basically, what you can do is, you're going to want to disable most of these, because it will, it will make it a tiny bit faster, but it still does something, so basically, at first it will probably, best, this is what you probably have, best which is going to be everything and that's going to slow down a lot best performance will disable everything but if you do if you're below windows 10 you're going to look like you're on a windows xp computer so i do custom cancel um, um, performance so i do custom i keep this 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 and this on because it keeps the windows 10 looks just not as smooth, but you know, it's a lot better for Osu. So that's that. Um, what else can you do? Um, definitely another thing you could do is um, if you have this, oh, the phone's ringing. That's wonderful. They're gonna have to wait. So with this, you could go to here. Whatever, all of these drives, you're gonna want to do this to them. So we go to properties, tools. So you want to optimize your drives, basically. And once you get to this right here, um, doesn't don't even bother doing analyze because that doesn't do anything. It just says if it's good or not. Optimize everything. So like this, click this, click. But this could take a while because I helped my grandma fix her computer this way because she was getting lots of lag because this this is a major issue if you have fragmentation you definitely want to fix this issue but I've already done that a while ago so you know once you have that done you are good you're good with that okay so another thing you can do is these settings right here if you are capping out the frame rate on OSU that it gives you one thing I recommend everyone does, no matter what, is this right here. This will originally, if you haven't changed it, once we set the 240, I would change that to 1000, because 1000 is the equivalent of 1ms according to, what's his name, Peppy. So, um, also, if you have a monitor with a high refresh rate like I kind of do, well, I don't, but that's because it's overclocked, you, originally this will be 0 and... 60. What I did is I just one to activate that, and then from there I changed this to my refresh rate, and then yes, X and save. Then you're good with that. So from there, um, what's other stuff you can do? Um, yeah, drivers. So if you have GeForce, AMD, anything, you can. Oh no, mine has this because I have. 1050 Ti. Basically, what you'll want to do is if you have this kind of thing, you can check for updates. Another thing you could do, um, Intel has a software that's uh, a driver updater. Oh, never mind. That sucks. That's why there's no music in the background. So, um, Intel driver updater. So, you basically want to search that driver and support assistant. Download this. It works for everything. Well, this is what you do. You usually just accept it, and then you run it, and you set that all up, and um, let it go with startup. Um, and you always update it when you can. Okay, other things you can do: startup. Anything that you do not use, make sure this is disabled. CC cleaner disabled. I enable Cortex because I use that. Um, what else? Basically, if you don't use it, disable it. Let's see drivers enabled. Another thing you could do is, um, I don't advise this software because it gives a lot of pop-ups, but go look for um, a YouTube video that says, like, update all your drivers and stuff. I got this software. There we go. Now it's open. Okay, I gotta wait for it. Basically, what you can do is you can... Shoot, it's still loading. There, you could scan your thing, and when this finishes, it will basically scan all of your drivers for anything outdated, and it will bring up the ones you can update. One thing you don't have to do is you don't have to ever buy new stuff. You can just update like that and be done. 
and it's it's basically that simple with this one. But I'm not gonna give you guys the link to this one unless you like really want it. You can leave a comment for it. I'd prefer just you know not to give you guys this one because I don't trust it much and I do not want you guys to mess up your computers like I have in the past. Let that run in the background. Other things you can do, these make sure um right click close anything that is open that you don't use. That's about that. Um hmm, anything else. You know, I try to think of everything for you guys because you know uh, I'd like to get views on YouTube, but you know, most people don't like to give me views. Um what else? So I've done all of that. You know, I'll I'll give you a basic example of the improvements. You know, I'll give you the one problem that I have. So some people may find it that on full screen mode, well this is for me, I don't know if it's only me with this issue, but in full screen mode, my thing will bottleneck at around this and it does not like to go above or below a hundred. I don't know why it's doing that right now. That's kinda weird. But Oh, shit, did I just completely block that out? I hope not. Well, basically, this will, in full screen, this will stay at 100, this, no, this will stay at 10, this will stay at 100, and it will not go up or down. Well, it will not go up from there. It will not go, this will not go down, this will not go up. This caps at 100, this caps at 10. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, other things you can do, if you use a mouse... Um, a razor mouse, you can go to Synapse, you could go to your device, and now you go here for mouse, now performance, and then updates for mouse, you want this to be at a thousand, highest possible uprate rate, so your thing's getting better performance. Um, one thing I do know about tablets though is, is this is basically just off a checker you can see this is at about a thousand nine hundred ish nine hundred seventy a tablet which I'm about to pull out right now they barely get up to five hundred they get up to like go away they get up to at most like 250 is the highest I've seen on mine and I have uh, what's it an XP pen something twenty dollar something pen but you know I, I'm not gonna recommend it cause it's pretty bad like 222 like you see a tw 222 mouses definitely have higher refresh rates if they're gaming mouses cuz tablets are for artwork like this thingy right here oh, no, we're not gonna open this this thing they're for like stuff like fire alpaca and that kind of stuff I'm going to conclude my video here, just a, a quick guide if you guys want a more in-depth one. Um, I don't know, comment about that stuff, I don't know, comment, I like to reply to those, because you know, I see all of you guys as fellow OSU players and I respect that. Um, also, um, if you want, you can um, add me on OSU, I'll show you guys my profile, so you can do that. This is my OSU profile. Um, I'm not that good, but you know, I try, I try, I try, my YouTube channel, um, you know the videos that pop up, I tend to watch some weeby stuff, um, in my channel, didn't, okay, so this is my channel right here, I've done a few OSU videos, most of them dem demonetized, but I don't do YouTube for profit, I do it to show you guys my videos, you know, this one I messed up recording. I had it in bad resolution. This video will be in good resolution. I hope. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Um, bye guys.